white area here is called the artboard. You can think of it as the sheet of paper that you're going to be drawing your map on. Anything that you want to appear on your final map has to appear on the artboard. This is what I set up when I said I'd like an 8.5 by 11 artboard in portrait orientation. This is the main toolbar. You'll find most of the tools that you need to actually create different elements on the map over here in this particular toolbar, and we'll look at some of the most common and most frequently used here in just a moment. Over here, you can find lots of different uh, options and different menu palettes for adjusting different aspects of different uh, objects that you've drawn on your map. Don't be alarmed if your setup here looks a little bit different uh, than the one you're seeing on my screen. Different people who use Illustrator like to set up the locations of all of their different tools and different windows and different options in different ways. Different cartographers will want to set up uh, the tools and their options the way that they like it in order to facilitate their production. This is just a very common close to default layout in Illustrator, uh, but yours may look different and that's no problem. One thing that I do want to be sure that I show you how to do is how to turn on different menu options and different palettes in case I have one turned on that you need but it's not visible on your screen. So we want to go over how to turn these on and turn these off. If you don't have a certain palette or menu option showing on your screen that we're currently using, or if you accidentally turn off one of the different palettes or menus, you can always get it back. All you have to do is go up to the Window option on the main toolbar at the top. Let's go under Window, and here you can see a list of all of the different palette options that Illustrator has. Any one of these that has a check mark by it is currently visible on the screen. So as you can see, even with as many options as I have on the screen right now, there are still many different options that are currently turned off. A very important window that we're going to be using is this Layers window over here. So if it's not turned on, you can go over here and turn it on and off. Click here, see I disabled the Layer window, and I can turn it back on. It's also important to note that your main toolbar over here, if it goes away or if you accidentally turn it off, then you can go under Window and it's called Tools. Clicking there will bring the main toolbar back. I also want to point out that as you go along, you may very well develop your own way of how you like your Adobe Illustrator tools to be arranged. And this is no problem. You'll notice that all of these different menu options can move around, and you can disconnect them and move them to different parts of the screen. You'll notice that if you see this little blue uh, line, it will snap to the edge of the screen or will sort of magnetize a particular window to another one so they move together. Let's see if I can do that here. There we go. Uh, so if you have a particular place that you like for different tools to be, you're more than welcome to move them around. Uh, all that matters is that you know where the different uh, tools are also, you will notice that up here, there are different layouts that Illustrator has pre-programmed for you. So if you would like to experiment with different layouts for different tasks, as at least Adobe understands it, uh, you can go up here and cycle through those. So it's not important where any of the particular toolboxes are. You need to make sure they are wherever they are for you that best facilitates your personal cartographic production. As we go forward here, sure, my menu options may be in a different place than you like to keep them. That's no problem. What's essential here is that you're using the right menu. And finally, I would just like to point out that if you've drawn a beautiful map and you just want to look at it without all of the toolbars floating all over the screen, all you have to do is hit the tab button and it will take away all of the 
uh, tools that you have up on the screen so that you can take a look at the picture that you've created. And then if you hit tab again, they will all appear. Sometimes people panic because all of their tools have vanished. Well, probably what's happened is you've just accidentally hit the tab button. So that's a great way to toggle between just viewing your map uh, and then getting all of your toolbars back very quickly.